tell them why. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. Calling things back into remembrance. Shalom. Who we got here? Israelite studying the truth. Yahweh, Yahweh Sop, Dawadah, the beloved lady of the hopeful elect of Yahweh, and the beloved sister Zion Naawa, daughter of Yasharalam. Yerushalayim, excuse me. Yasharala. I'm half asleep. Fisher turned hunter. Sister Shifra Sarah. Shalom, ah, Fisher turned hunter. Shalom, beloved. Rakatham. Let's go. <clears throat> so when you look at this awakening, when you look at those that are coming back to this word, the word of promise, the word of covenant, it's those that are remembering themselves. So the Holy Spirit brings everything back into remembrance. An ancient spirit of wisdom. So the elect <coughs> have the spirit of eternal truth. And I'm coming back to the word of promise. Am I still alive? The screen just went dark. Let me move this to the shade. Is the feed still good? Just need a thumbs up. The whole screen just went dark. Are we good? I'm going to continue. All right, got it. Go ahead and keep it moving. So if, if you'll notice, Many people that you talk to, they're not going to get it. They're going to just look at you like you're crazy. And they're going to look confused as to why you're excited about this truth. They're going to be baffled, confounded. And they're going to look at you as being fanatic or being radical. Because the Spirit is not with them. <coughs> the Holy Spirit search all things and bring things back into our remembrance. Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Barakatha Yahweh. Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Call Halayim La Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, or Kwakadash, all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work and truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, and pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad in double honor and respect to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, calling things back into remembrance. So the election have obtained it and the rest were blinded. The eternal spirit of wisdom and truth 
resonates with the elect dwells within the house of the Lord. This holy tabernacle have possessed this hidden ancient wisdom, wisdom of the ages. Let's go here. <coughs> We're going to go to the wisdom of Solomon. The wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9, verse 1. O oh, God of my fathers and Lord of mercy, who has made all things with thy word. Everything we see has the essence of the Most High. The air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, dark sayings, mysteries. So we are tapping into the elements through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Wisdom of Solomon 9, verse 1. O God of my fathers and Lord of mercy, who has made all things with thy word and ordained man through thy wisdom, that he should have dominion over the creatures which thou hast made and order the world according to equity and righteousness and execute judgment with an upright heart. So wisdom builds a kingdom. Wisdom establishes kings, judges, rulers, ruling over the nations of the earth, over the wildlife, over the land, over the other nations, the beasts of the field. Let's go from there. Wisdom of Solomon 9, verse 11. Let's go to verse 9. And wisdom was with thee, which knoweth thy works, and was present when thou madest the world and knew what was acceptable in thy sight and right in thy commandments. O oh, send her out of thy holy heavens and from the throne of thy glory, that being present, she may labor with me, that I may know what is pleasing unto thee. So we have the mind of Yahushai. We have the word ingrained into our mind. We understand the will of the Father. We understand the hidden mysteries of the kingdom. We have the breath of life. We have the gift of the eternal spirit of understanding. We have a holy conscience that's been made separate, that's been sanctified and cleansed by the word but we're being renewed every day into a new creature to be set up as kings on the earth just like king solomon just like the kings of israel the kings of judah wisdom of solomon 9 verse 11 for she knoweth and understandeth all things, and she shall lead me soberly in my goings and preserve me in her power. So if wisdom is the eternal spirit of all things, peoples, places, elements, the sunlight, the water, the breath, and if we are tapped in to the spirit, then we understand all things. We have a holy conscience. 
We've been made separate, which means holy. <coughs> Matter of fact, let's go to uh, Proverbs 28. So this is a leadership development course. Not a course to just sit on the couch and become a couch potato. Proverbs 28, verse 8. One moment. No, let's go here. Proverbs 28, verse 5. Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. So this is a leadership development course that's cultivating kings, judges, rulers, not beta male broke back sips, not couch potatoes, not those that are fearful in heart and mind, those that are hesitant, those that are afraid to go to the front line. The heat of battle. Gay, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. So we're walking in the valley of the shadow of the heathen, the Gentiles that are reigning over the earth. We're surrounded by our enemies. We were sold to our enemies. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel shall be no more in remembrance. Thine enemies make a tumult and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. The head of the beast has been raised up against Yasharala, the European Union, NATO, and the body and the tail of the United Nations. Let's go back to Proverbs 28. Proverbs 28, verse 4. They that forsake the law praise the wicked, but such as keep the law contend with him. So we're contending with the wicked. Job 9 and 24 says, The earth is given into the hands of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Proverbs 28 and 5. Evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. So a king must understand wickedness, must understand rebellion, must understand treachery, must understand sin, transgression, righteousness, judgment. Go back to Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9, verse 11. For she knoweth and understandeth all things, and she shall lead me soberly in my doings, and preserve me in her power. Why, Lord, so shall my works be acceptable, and then shall I judge thy people righteously, and be worthy to sit in my Father's seat. See? Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable unto you, O power, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So things are being called back into our remembrance. Remember the movie Lion King. What did Mufasa tell young Simba? Remember who you are. We're being set up. We're being programmed. We're being led and directed and guided by the staff of the everlasting Father. 
the great shepherd. We have prayed for wisdom. We have prayed for peace of mind. We have prayed for knowledge. We have prayed for understanding. We're praying for peace, but ready for war. A spiritual battle. Go to First Kings. <laughs> First Kings chapter 3 Let's we'll start from the top Verse 1 And Solomon made affinity with Pharaoh king of Egypt and took Pharaoh's daughter and brought her into the city of David until he made an end of building his own house and the house of the Lord and the wall of Jerusalem round about. Only the people sacrificed in high places because there was no house built unto the name of the Lord until those days. So his name matters. The temple matters. A spiritual house not made with hands is being rebuilt in these last days. A third temple. First Kings 3 and 3. And Solomon loved the Lord, walking in the statutes of David, his father. Only he sacrificed and burnt incense in high places. So when you read Matthew chapter 1, King Solomon is Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior whom the world ignorantly called Jebus. First Kings 3 and 4. And the king went to Gibeon to sacrifice there, for that was the great high place. A thousand burnt offerings did Solomon offer upon that altar. In Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night and God said ask what I shall give thee what is King Solomon Yahweh Shai our Lord and Savior going to pray for let's see and Solomon said thou hast showed unto thy servant David my father great mercy according as he walked before thee in truth and in righteousness and in uprightness of heart with thee and thou hast kept him for this great kindness that thou hast given him a son to sit on his throne as it is this day let's jump down here first kings 3 and 10 and let's go to verse 9 give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people that I may discern between good and bad for who is able to judge this thy so great a people so the wise King Solomon prayed and asked for wisdom understanding to be a ruler and a righteous judge over the children of Israel. Wisdom builds an eternal kingdom. You can give a homeless man a million dollars. He's going to be homeless again in less than a year. You can give a caveman the kingdom, the rulership, the dominion, a military, a large following a religious institution trillion dollars look at the Rothschilds worth 700 trillion dollars but their kingdom is fallen their food is poisoned by Monsanto's GMOs in contaminated water contaminated air they are not built on wisdom They're falling, uproars of the people. 
wars, rumors of wars. The caveman is a trillionaire. First Kings 3 and 9. Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people that I may discern good and bad. For who is able to judge this thy so great a people? And the speech please the Lord that Solomon hath asked this thing. And God said unto him, Because thou hast asked this thing, and hast not asked for thyself long life, neither hast asked riches for thyself, nor hast asked the life of thine enemies, but ask for thyself understanding to discern judgment. Behold, I have done according to thy words. Lo, I have given thee a wise and understanding heart, so that there is none like thee before thee, neither after thee shall any arise unto thee. No other man on earth has been wiser than Yahweh Shai, our King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So this is our Lord and Savior. See, let's go to Luke chapter 2. The book of Luke chapter 2, verse 51. Let's go to verse 50. Luke 2 and 50. And they understood not the saying which he spake unto them. And he went down with them and came to Nazareth and was subject unto them. But his mother kept all these sayings in her heart. So Yahweh Shai was increasing in wisdom, just like King Solomon. Let's jump up to verse 38 Luke 2 and 38 and she coming in that instance gave thanks likewise unto the Lord and spake of him to all of them that looked for redemption in Jerusalem and when they had performed all these things according to the law of the Lord they returned unto Galilee to their own city Nazareth watch this and the child grew and waxed strong in spirit filled with wisdom and the grace of the Most High was upon him did not King Solomon get filled with wisdom see same man different body same spirit let's read that again Luke 2 and 40 and the child grew and waxed strong in spirit filled with wisdom and the grace of the most high was upon him now let's jump down to verse 52 Luke 2 and 52 and Yahweh Shai increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and man so wisdom builds a king, cultivates rulers, strengthens a man. Show thyself a man. One moment. What is that at? I think it's first kings. Right here, First Kings 2 and 1. Now in the days of David drew nigh that he should die. And he charged Solomon, his son, saying, I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. So real men are standing up. Who will rise up for me? against the workers 
of iniquity and who will stand up for me against the evildoers. 1 Kings 2 and 2. I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man, and keep the charge of the Lord thy God, to walk in his ways, to keep the statutes and his commandments, and his judgments, and his testimonies, as it is written in the law of Moses, that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest, and whithersoever thou turn thyself. Well, this word builds an empire, an eternal kingdom, an everlasting dominion. Yahweh Shai is setting that up, building upon the throne of his father David, an everlasting kingdom where peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues are going to follow the kings of the earth, the sons of Jacob, and are going to fall under Yahweh Shai, an everlasting dominion. Let's go to Daniel 7. Daniel chapter 7, Daniel chapter 7, verse 14. Let's go to verse 13. I saw in the night visions, and behold, one like the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven, and came to the Ancient of Days, and they brought him near before him. This is Yahweh Shai, the Son of Man traveling in the chariots, the so-called UFOs, Daniel 7 and 14, and there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away, and his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. So Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it. That follow an everlasting kingdom built on eternal wisdom, built on the knowledge of the Most High. The Ancient of Days has bestowed portions of ancient wisdom has apportioned out segments of knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and has poured out this cup of mercy, which starts with the Holy Spirit. So Jacob, the children of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Native Americans, and Latinos got next. Read the book by Ronald Sanders, Lost Lands of or Lost People of the Promised Lands. He had set out to disprove that the so-called Negroes and Native Americans and Latinos are the Israelites. And when he came to the Americas, one of the native people said, Shema Yasharala, Yahweh Alahayanawa, Yahweh Akad. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our power is one. Shema Yasharala Yahweh, Allah Yahweh, Yahweh Akad. Well, they spoke Hebrew. Christopher Columbus, which his real name is Cristobal Colon, took five Hebrew interpreters with him because he knew that the Israelites were dispersed and scattered to the Americas. Five Hebrew interpreters. Look up the lost lunar stone with Hebrew writing. Let's go to the comment board. I'm going to visit the comment board. One moment.
They're shadow banning the live stream. I could not find it on my damn iPad. He saw us the goddamn devil. I had to search for the live stream on the iPad. And I'm the one hosting. All right. Let's go here on the visit the comment board. Shalom, Barack Obama. Esau, you're defeated. And anybody coming against this truth, to hell with you. And curse me to you and your family. The damn devil is shadow banning the live streams. And you're questioning what we're teaching. Brother Makiyar Yasharala. Shalom. Brother Maccabee's servant on Yahweh Shai, Wisdom of Solomon 8 and 5. If riches be a possession to be desired in this life, what is richer than wisdom that worketh all things? For this knowledge is a treasure. Wisdom. You can take somebody that's a nomad, a wanderer, that's wandering around and give him money but it will not last if he lacks the knowledge of this bible it's not going to last that's why we fell from rulership the children of israel the so-called negroes and native americans and latinos because we lost wisdom we started worshiping idols and the lord brought us down and put these damn devils over us so now we're rising up because we're coming back to the ancient wisdom from the ancient of days. The tabernacle of David is being raised up from the graves. And all the bullshit on this earth is going to be put down. We're tired of the damn wickedness. We got women marching, complaining that they can't kill babies, complaining that they can't murder their newborn babies. 63.5 million babies murdered since 1973. That's the population of Italy. We got women that can murder their child, leave their husbands, and get three checks a month and destroy families. We got pedophile rulers, politicians that are paid off in bed with the multi-trillion dollar pharmaceutical drug industry. They are paid and bought for by the corporate elite, the international bankers. And we still got men acting like little bitches. Let's go here. Brother Bakiyar. Brother, let's go here. Yup. Brother Bakiyar. Yasharala, Romans 9 and 26. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, there shall it be said unto them. I'm thinking about Hosea 1, excuse me. Let's read that again. Brother Machiar, Yasharala, Romans 9, and 26 and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them ye are not my people there shall they be called the children of the living God so here we were cut off from our heritage why because we gave up the treasure we lost wisdom we begin to serve the other gods of the other nations. So we were sold to our enemies, sold to the adversaries of Israel. We became servants, handmaids. We were sold to the land of our adversaries. Let's go here, Brother GMS Spiritual Art, Baruch 2 and 30. For I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people 
but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. So this is how we lost our heritage. Whenever you fall as a people, the children are separated from the elders and are indoctrinated with the customs, worships, religions, practices, and belief system of the host nation. So we begin to learn the ways of our enemies. We will learn their worships, their gods. We were taught to eat like them, shrimp, crab, pork, lobster, worship their idols. So the children would grow up normalizing this behavior, normalizing savagery. And the elders were put to death or hung when you read Lamentations. If somebody can post a couple of scriptures out of Lamentations, they hung the princes by their necks or by their hands. So the elders would get killed off and the children would be separated and put on reservations or indoctrination facilities and learn the ways of the heathen. The men mostly would be murdered. The children and the women would be salvaged to a certain degree and re-indoctrinated or re-educated. This is an old ancient practice and you got to kill off the leaders. You got to kill the elders. Let's keep going. So we're in the land where we would call Gentiles, heathens, in that place where it was said unto thee, ye are not my people. There it shall be said unto thee, ye are the sons of the living God. Brother GMS Spiritual Art, 144, Baruch 2 and 30. For well, I knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves and shall know that I am the Lord their God, for I will give them a heart and ears to hear, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. Only the elect has this ancient spirit of wisdom that knows the days of old, that knows the ancients, the spirits of the ancients, that knows the hidden mysteries of the ages, of the kingdom, the keys to rulership, the key to salvation. The elect has the eternal spirit that brings all things into remembrance. Let's go to Wisdom of Solomon. Eight. One moment. See? Wisdom of Solomon. Eight. Verse eight. If a man desire much experience, she knoweth things of old and conjectureth aright. What is to come? She knoweth the subtleties of speeches and can expound dark sentences. She foreseeth signs and wonders and the events of seasons and times. So only the elect has this treasure, this gift, where we can foresee things to come and interpret the things of old, the historical events, how we fail, why we fail, idolatry, witchcraft, rebellion. If a man desire much experience, she knoweth things of old and conjectureth aright. What is to come? She knoweth the subtleties of speeches and can expound dark sentences. She foreseeth signs and wonders and the events of seasons and times. So we're remembering ourselves. Remember the days of old. 
consider the years of many generations as thy fathers, and they shall tell thee. The fathers are the ancient spirits, the prophets, the teachers, the first fruits, spirits created by the Most High, the first batch of spirits. Let's go back. Brother, one moment, the screen is buffering. Yup, Brother Bakiyar Yasharala, Lamentations 5 and 2. Our inheritance is turned to strangers, our houses to aliens. We are orphans and fatherless. Our mothers are widows. So this is fresh in the minds of the elect. That's why we're pissed off. We've been made mad. Somebody post that in Ecclesiastes 7. Somewhere around verse 7. This is why we're pissed off. Angry at the two turds. Angry at our women that have sold out or are in bed with this devil. Our men that are settled on their leads, that have just settled for the status quo, that are okay with being three-fifths of a man, first fired, last hired, are okay with being beta male simps, second-class citizens. It's not fresh in their mind. They lack the ancient spirit of wisdom that gives us a flashback of the days of old that helps us to analyze and interpret signs, the times, the changing of the seasons that makes it fresh in our mind of being castrated, slaughtered, hung from trees, raped, sodomized, but broken. It's fresh in our minds through the spirit the ancient spirit of wisdom from the days of old, given from the most ancient of days. Remember yourselves. They put this in your face in the movies. Lion King, when Mufasa stuck his head out of the clouds and said, remember who you are. Let's keep going. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. But the two turd simps are okay with the status quo. Brother Bakiyar, Yasharala, Lamentations 5 and 2. Our inheritance is turned to strangers, our houses to aliens. We are orphans and fatherless, our mothers our widows. We have drunken our water for money. Our wood is sold unto us. Our necks are under persecution. We labor and we have no rest. So this is not our rest. The elect are weary. The elect are in mourning. The elect are broken hearted. The elect are in sorrow. The elect are in the house of mourning. We need that in Ecclesiastes 7. Lamentations 5. the days of old, consider the years of many generations. As thy fathers, and they shall show thee. The ancient spirits are back. The prophets are back. We know who we are. We understand the trial and tribulation that our forefathers have undergone, experienced, 
experience to be tried out. The wisdom gives us experience to be tried out, to be tested as gold is tried in the fire. Fire of adversity is making men liken unto the gold of Ophir, the gold of Ophir. The men are back. Are the tired of playing? The men are back. White supremacy, Edomite supremacy, tyranny, women's liberation, simpism, feminism, Edomite supremacy, terrorism. Men are back. Rebuking wickedness. Lamentations 5 or 6. We have given the hand to the Egyptians and to the Assyrians to be satisfied with bread. Our fathers have sinned and are not, and we have borne their iniquities. Servants have ruled over us. There is none that delivered us out of their hand. We're being ruled over by servants. We're being ruled over by a base man, pursuant to Daniel 4 and 17. Base men rule over us. The Assyrians, the Egyptians, the Edomites, the Babylonians were dwelling in the shadow of death. Let's keep going. Lamentations 5, verse 8. Servants have ruled over us. There is none that doth deliver us out of their hand. So we remember ourselves. We remember the days when we were taken down, subdued, brought into captivity, sold to the nations, dispersed, beat, stripped, naked, put in chains. It's fresh in the minds of the elect as if it happened a couple of days ago. We know, we remember, we still feel the pain. We still feel the chains. We still feel the hurt, the sorrow, the mourning. We're still mourning. That's the gift of the ancient spirit, wisdom. Brother Adam Nana. No, let's go here first. GMS Spiritual Art 144, Micah 2, verse 10. Arise. <laughs> Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. So everything that's pushed here is abomination. We got child rapists roaming the streets, murderers, all types of adulterers, all types of freaks are able to roam free with no retribution, no judgment. Their pockets are fat. Their pockets are deep. Their bank accounts are big. So they control the rulers. The tail wags the dog. If your pockets are deep, the kings are compromised in bed with the corporate giants in bed with the pharmaceutical industry in bed with science and technology so the money or mammon is the ruler or the god of this world wealth monetary status or monetary wealth and status trumps the rule of law. So the law is slack 
and judgment doth never go forth. Brother Zadok, Shalom. Brother Zadok, Amram, House of David. Proverbs 22 and 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. So the elect are hiding under the shadow of doctrinal wisdom. We have a sure foundation. We have a protective hedge. So we're walking in wisdom. <coughs> King David walked in wisdom. Yahweh Shai walked in wisdom. Prophets walk in wisdom. So it is a sure way to safety a refuge, a safe haven, a safe house. We have stability. We have assurance of life. By trusting in the Most High's word and thinking upon his name. Brother Adon Nana, 1 Maccabees 1 and 38. And so much that the inhabitants of Jerusalem fled because of them, whereupon the city was made a habitation of strangers and became strange to those that were born in her and her own children left her. When we were carried away prisoner, we became a strange nation, strangers. We became a delinquent or a polluted vine. The Most High planted us a noble plant, but we became a degenerate vine, a nation of degenerates, rejects, dispersed, starting with the Greeks, starting with the Greek captivity. That's why they created the Bible Destruction Group in 1820 to about 1866. The Bible Destruction Group took out the, Apocry the Apocrypha. Took out the Apocrypha. Apocrypha means hidden books. So it fills in the gaps of us being under the Greek captivity for about 400 years. When we were cut off from our heritage, we became Hellenized. When you go into that word Greek, in many instances in the New Testament, it's Greek-speaking Jews. The Hellenistas, the Hellenistas, are Israelites that spoke Greek, that knew their nationality. And the, Hel the Helen, those that were Hellenized or Helen, they did not know their nationality, but many of them knew. They were called Hellenistas or Hellenistas. They knew their nationality. That's what the Bible means. And there is neither Greek nor Jew. We are all one in Yahweh Shai. So the word is the clue that binds, breaks together. The word is the water, the temperate water that builds the house of the Lord, that builds his tabernacle, not made with hands. The spiritual glue, a mortar, temperate mortar, is built to last, durable, tried and tested, treated, So the elect have this fresh in our minds. That's why we're angry in the house of mourning. The two thirds are happy. You ever remember those old cartoons where you would see a black face and nothing but white shiny teeth in a jet black face in the old mockery cartoons? And an explosion would go off. Happy two-third Israelite men, 
bug out. Yep. Baruch 3 and 6. For thou art the Lord our God, and thee, O Lord, will we praise. Baruch 3 and 7. And for this cause thou hast put thy fear in our heart to the intent that we should call upon thy name and praise thee in our captivity for we have called to mind all the iniquity of our forefathers that sinned before thee we fear him he have put his fear in our mind so we fear the lord that's why we have wisdom. That's why we have foresight, vision. So everything that we experience is fresh in the minds of the elect. We're pissed off, angry. We're root three and six. For thou art the Lord, our God, and thee, O Lord, will we praise. And for this cause, thou hast put thy fear in our heart to the intent that we should call upon thy name and praise thee in our captivity. For we have called to mind all the iniquity of our forefathers that sinned before thee. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers. Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. The word was being called back into remembrance. Our transgression and backsliding and sin is being called back into the minds of the hopeful elect. Let's go to Malachi 3. Malachi 3 and 15. And now we call the proud happy. Yea, they that work wickedness are set up. Yea, they that tempt God are even delivered. So the land that's not our rest, the wicked are exalted and praised. Look at your celebrities. What's that devil with um what's his name? What's that high ranking devil that's um Jay-Z and Beyonce? They're devil worshippers and blood drinkers. They get exalted and praised here. Rappers, hip hop artists, celebrities. You see? So this is a land where evil is called good and good is called evil. Those that have monetary wealth and fame and riches are exalted and praised and lifted up as good people. Michael, Malachi 3 and 16. Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord, and that they thought upon his name. How you doing? You know what this is about? So you preaching the preach the preach the Bible. Yeah, well the Israelites. Yeah, we the ones of the Bible, man. We got scattered because we started worshiping other gods. You afraid of the camera? No, no, no. So we look like the other nations. You could be an Israelite. Uh -huh. We look like everybody. We got scattered. We fell from Jerusalem. We got taken down by the Romans in 70 AD. Did you know that? No. Uh -huh. So we're the people of the Bible, the same people that Moses led out of ancient Egypt. Oh, yeah. So there's no such thing as black or white people. That's all bullshit. 
we are what our father is. If I plant an apple, who carries the seed? The man. So if I go plant an apple seed in China, is it a Chinese tree? No, it's an apple tree. So you are what your father is. This bump, brother. Yeah, I know you. You see? I see you up at Home Depot sometimes. Yeah, I've seen you before. Yeah. So we're teaching the truth in the last days, man. You think so? Yeah, gas prices are going up. The economy is, is falling. The dollar has lost 35% of its purchase power. So you think we're on the last days? We're, I know we are. We're seeing chariots every day now. The so-called UFOs. Those are angels. They're not, they're not space aliens. Those are angels of the Lord. So when you start seeing that, that's a sign. Did you know it? a chariot can bring a tornado, hurricane? That's what destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. These so-called UFOs, they can drop fire. So they're not UFOs, they're, they're the chariots of the Lord. You see that? So the, the, listen, the elites know what's going on. They're buying million dollar mansions that go high and underground. But they're telling everybody, everything's is okay. Why would you go buy an $18 million underground mansion but on the news tell everybody it's okay you see so the billionaires they know what's going on but they keep lying to the people saying don't worry ain't nothing happening don't believe that listen to the poor man that's standing out here on the streets we know what's going on brother yes sir <laughs> You take care, my man. So you think we're living on the land? Hey, my, we see the signs, brother. I know we are. You think so? I know it. <laughs> we have to be. We can't stop it from happening? No, because it's all prophesied. And in the last days, they're going to come together, and they're going to try to bring this right here. You see, if I say it, they'll take down my video. Every time I go into details, that's another reason I know I'm telling the truth. They keep taking down my videos. So I'll just show you the sign. Because if I say it, they'll take down the video. You see? So why keep hiding something if it's a lie? You see what I'm saying? This is what they're trying to push. Don't do it. <laughs> take care, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> what do you think about me? You think I've got a good soul? Yeah, I know you. Oh, you can tell. I, gotta I do, because I've met you before over at the Home Depot. You can tell? Yes, sir. Yeah. So what do you think? Hey, brother, just believe in the Bible and pray. So you think I've got a good soul? I do. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. You take care, bro. Say a prayer for me. Yes, sir. Malachi 3 and 16. Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. The elect has the spirit of fear, tremble at his word of a low, meek, or contrite spirit, and think upon the Father's name, Yahweh, through his son, Yahweh Shai. And they show me mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spared his own son that served him. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serve God and him that serve him not. So we have a spiritual eye of discernment we know who the wicked two turds are who the caveman is who the heathens are that hate us that hate the word that hate his anointing that hate the doctrine that hate his name <coughs> let's revisit the comment board i'm going to revisit the comment board and the elect are in the house of mourning. Why? Because we remember ourselves. We have a spiritual awakening. The light is turned on. Okay? 
the light is turned on and somebody's home. So we're seeking the Lord in spirit and truth. The light shines bright in the eyes of the hopeful elect being called back to remembrance. Let's go to 2 Peter. One moment. 2 Peter. They're messing with every single video. And we still got people questioning what we teach. 2 Peter 3. Let's go to 2 Peter chapter 3. A book of 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 1. The second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. See? What is a pure heart or a pure mind? A pure heart has been sanctified, washed by the word. A pure heart and a pure mind is where wisdom dwells in our innermost temple. Let's read that again. 2 Peter 3, verse 1. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. We remember, think about the movie Lion King. Mufasa's face appears as a apparition in the clouds. Simba, remember who you are. The young king are being roused up. The young Simbas are being rallied together and hear the rallying cry from Judah, a lion's whelp, a young lion. And as an old lion stoop and crouch as a beat down old lion. But in the last days, you shall remember who you are and get roused by the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Let's go. Second Peter three. Second Peter three, verse eleven. See it then that all these things shall be. Let's go to verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. <laughs> but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Lord, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat nuclear destruction who told us this the prophets <coughs> from the days of old how do we know of the holocaust how do we know that the day shall come that shall burn as another the prophets remember isaiah remember malachi remember the ancient spirits from a foretime 
that foretold of the great perils, the great judgment, the passing away of the old world, the old age, and the ushering in of a new kingdom, an everlasting kingdom. Remember Daniel, remember the days of old, remember the prophets, the ancient spirits of our fathers. Daniel talked about the Son of Man coming in the clouds and setting up a kingdom, an everlasting dominion, an everlasting throne. Let's go. Go back to the common board. Let's go. Let's go. Things are being called back into remembrance. You're not slaves. You're not thugs. You're not vagabonds. You're not castaways. You are the king of the earth from the ancient spirits from the days of old. Remember King David. Remember Moses. Remember Malachi. Remember Daniel. Remember Prophet Isaiah. Remember Jeremiah. Remember Micah. Remember the mighty men from the days of old. And now, fast forward into the modern times. The modern days are connected to the old days and the old days. The Most High sees one continuum. The beginning, the time now, and the past, all connected on a continual spectrum. He created time. He created the beginning. He created the future. He watches over the times, the seasons, the changing of the age. He is the ancient of days. Brother Bakiyar, let's go here. Brother Andre serving in Habashai. Shalom, Baratata. Brother Andre serving in Habashai. Jeremiah 6 and 16. Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the way, and see, and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. So the days of our forefathers are being renewed. The ancient ways are being polished off and taken off the shelf. The Bible that had dust on it has been dusted off and taken off the counter. We're coming back to the ways of our fathers. In the land of our captivity, we shall remember ourselves and the ways of our fathers. So the old is being made new. There is no difference. Everything is connected. Life and death, passing away, birth, rebirth. The Most High connect created time. Most High created our spirits made of pure balls of fire and energy. Energy, let's go back to science, physics, chemistry. They copied it from the Bible. Cannot be what? Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. Only the Most High can do that. Can't be destroyed or created by man energy, the compilation and the understanding of the elements, the understanding of the essence of time transitioning from one realm to another levitating, appearing and disappearing like Yahweh Shai did. Let's go here. Brother GMS spiritual art, Jude 1 and 5. I will therefore 
put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. We were there. We witnessed firsthand the signs and wonders, the power of the majesty of our Lord, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. We saw the angel of the Lord go before us and smite the heathen nations with power, with fire and tempest and whirlwinds. We witnessed firsthand the signs and miracles of destruction of the nations of the enemies of Israel. We witnessed the splitting of the Red Sea. We witnessed our forefathers go on dry land but the water was on the left and right hand. We witnessed the chariots of Pharaoh destroyed in the Red Sea. Chariots and his military, the armies of Pharaoh swallowed up on both sides and the slain of the Lord on the beach shore. We witnessed the chariots of the Lord emitting high energy concentrated laser beams destroying the Egyptians. It's even on their Egyptian hieroglyphs or hieroglyphics unto this day. Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. What has been will be again. We remember the word of covenant and the marriage vows. We were sprinkled with blood to consummate our marriage in the wilderness with the Lord. We remember saying, I promise through life and thickness and death, adversity, sickness, and health and wellness to keep the commandments of the Lord. We remember when we made a sworn oath with the Lord and sprinkled with blood by Moses and promised and swore by the hands of our fathers to keep his word. Brother Kabar, Adam, Job 33 and 4, the Spirit of God hath made me and the breath of the Almighty have given me life. If thou canst answer me, set thy words in order before me. Stand up, for the breath gives us power to prophesy, to interpret, to foresee, to envision, to have foresight, to see the battle, to see the battlefield, and make wise prudent decisions driven by the spirit the guidance and the lamp of the lord a king eagle's eye or the eye said of the wise owl let's go i keep quoting it i might as well read it Deuteronomy. For the Holy Spirit search all things. It replenishes us. It refreshes our memory. It brings things back into our re <laughs> recollection. That's why everything seems new and fresh. Being cut down, beat down, brought into slavery, having yokes of iron put around our necks, watching our wives ravish and rape right before our eyes, watching the elders get put to death and hung, watching the princes of Judah hung by their necks, 
beat and beheaded in the streets, in the open view. We can see it. We can visualize it. It's fresh in our minds. That's why we're serious about the word. We're serious about our tribulation. We're serious about the ancient spirits, the prophets. We're serious about prophecy. We're serious about our affliction because we can see it, visualize it. We can feel it. We feel the stripes of the whip upon our back. We feel the slaps, the bumps and abuses of our persecution. This is why the elect have obtained it and the rest are blinded. We feel the word. Stripes, the whip, the sound of the whip, the chariots of our oppressors, the sound of a whip, the land of our captivity. Let's go to Nahum. We remember being taken down by the Egyptians, the Assyrians, the Romans, the Greeks. We remember Nahum 3 and 1. Woe to the bloody city. It is all full of lies and robbery. The prey departeth not. We are a prey sold to our oppressors. The noise of a whip. No, we forgot about it. The noise of a whip and the noise of the rattling of the wheels and of the prancing horses and of the jumping chariots. We remember Nineveh, the sound of the whip, the prancing of the horses, the sounds of the chariots, the sounds of the oppressors. Whoop! That's the sound of the police. Even made a song about it. KRS One. Whoop whoop. That's the sound of the beast. That's the sound of the police. The sound of the oppressors is fresh in our mind. Let's go. Gonna revisit the comment board. So the elect have obtained this understanding and are promised the salvation on this side and the rest were blinded <laughs> and I'm told to myself KRS one black cop black cop black cop black cop you don't even get paid a whole lot. <laughs> yep, crazy as hell. Come on, you want to be a police officer? Fuck out. Brother GMS Spiritual Art 144. <coughs> Luke 1 and 76. And thou, child, shall be called the prophet of the highest. For thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins. To give knowledge. Woo! We got to take our time. We got to take our time. What is that knowledge? <coughs> the keys to unlock the hidden mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. You can't get through the door without the keys of wisdom. You can't unlock the door to enter through the gate and walk the straight and narrow path leading unto the kingdom without the ancient mystery that's been hidden throughout the ages, the treasures of the mysteries of a glorious kingdom promise to the children of Israel to be rulers, lords and gods on the earth, kings and priests, rekindling, reconnecting, recalling 
a total recall, remembering ourselves and being brought back to the grace and mercy, being whispered to in the wilderness, a message that's been encoded, that's been sent to the captive daughter of Zion to release the prisoners in the land of our oppressors. We have the message and can encode and decipher the letter, the letters to the elect. Salvation is near. Judgment to the nations is near. The elect is going to be made into immortals, brought to everlasting life. The elect are going to be able to do great wonders and signs cause fire to come down from heaven, cause the water to be turned into wine. The elect is going to be able to create substance out of nothing, manipulate the elements, cause a swamp to be turned into living waters. The elect are giving these promises. Gonna bring it in. Just feel like I just got my ass kicked. Holy Spirit takes over. Just drains you. Drain. Uh, let's bring it in. Don't look too good if somebody got a call 911. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Want no caveman strapping me down to no damn ambulance bed and loading me up in the back of a damn paddy wagon. Hells to the no. I don't know where they taking you, what they putting in you. I'll just be like, just take this injection. Hell no. You should have left me where I was at. These people are crazy. Hells to the no. Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the beast. Let's get ready to close out here. I'm going to piggyback off of a... Uh... <coughs> We're going to go to Luke. And then we'll close out. One moment. Meekly. Shalom. The word leads to a metaphysiological change. The word causes the elements to be shaped and shifted. So on a low level, we're exhibiting power, going into the scriptures, interpreting the word. And this truth grows and expands and it causes us to go through a change mentally physically and spiritually I got salt in my eyes let's keep it moving one moment one moment let's go to loop one This word is power. Why you think it's causing an attack? People to just, why follow the word if you don't believe in it? They got spirits on them to follow the channels just to attack, mock, and scoff, and criticize. Get a life. So it attracts. It's a gravitational pull on your spirit. That's why the Bible says, I will give you a tongue and mouth in which your adversaries will not be able to gainsay nor resist. So this word creates a strong gravitational pull on spirits. Brother Adam Nana. Brother 
Brother Adon Nama, Luke 9 and 27. But I tell you of a truth, there will be some standing here which shall not taste of death till they see the kingdom of God. So many are going to be translated like prophet Elijah was, <coughs> caught up into the chariots of the Lord, so-called UFOs. What has been will be again. Let's go here. Yep. Brother Andre serving you how shy. Acts 1 and 8. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. So in the Bible, the apostles never came over to the uttermost parts of the earth. So this is reincarnation. The prophets or the apostles are back prophesying in the dawn of Babylon. <clears throat> Let's go here. Luke 1. Luke 1 and 68. So this word gives us power, strength, foresight. Luke 1 <coughs> and 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people and have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. His people are the Israelites. We're reading about salvation promised to Israel and none else. But you're going to have fragments or remnants of the other nations salvage to go into captivity to help fulfill Bible prophecy and to serve the kingdom of Jacob. <coughs> and to serve in the kingdom to come under Jacob. Luke 1 and 69 and have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets which have been since the world began no the prophets are done away with they all died out the prophets are no more extinct deceased there is no eternal death let me say that again there is no eternal death somebody post mark 12 27 and 28 mark 12 27 and 28 the book of luke chapter 1 verse 70 as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets which have been since the world began that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us so we are scattered amongst peoples multitudes nations and tongues the assyrians the babylonians the edomites moab elam ishmael amalek we shall be saved from the hand of all that hate us the egyptians see tyree and zidon ammon so we got to take our time we're scattered dispersed under the hands of the nations the other nations are the enemies of israel how do we know that? Read Psalms 
chapter 83. Thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation. The enemies of the other nations outside of Israel. See that? Let's read it again. Luke 1 and 71, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. Remember ourselves. Promises made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. See, Brother GMS Spiritual Art, Mark 12 and 27. He is not the God of the dead, so the prophets are all dead. The elect are dead. The children of Israel is done away with and are cast out to eternal death. Let's read it again. Brother Spiritual Art 144, Mark 12 and 27. He is not the God of the dead, but the God of the living. Ye therefore do greatly error. And one of the scribes came and having heard them reasoning together and perceiving that he had answered them well, asked him, which is the first commandment of all? So we only serve the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. <coughs> so we're serving an eternal power, the most ancient of days. He created time. He created the elements. He monitors and controls death and life. He creates life. He raises up from the dead and brings down to the grave. So he is the end all, be all. The God of the living, the elect have obtained his mercy on this side. So the elect are exhibiting traits and character traits and characteristics of life. The word is life. Somebody posted that. So the God of the living is exhibited in the elect showing signs of life by prophesying. See, Brother Adam Nana, Sirach 19 and 19. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life and they that do things that please him receive the fruit of the tree of immortality so you can see who is worshiping the god of the living the god of israel the god of abraham isaac and jacob let's read it again sirach 19 and 19 my brother adon nana the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life and they that do things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality see what does this connect back to hurt not the trees nor the earth until we have sealed the <coughs> elect let's, let's get it because I just butchered it I just butchered it. The tree, see? The tree of immortality. Let's go here. Revelation 7, verse 1. After, and after these, Revelation 7 and 1. I'm exhausted. The book of Revelation chapter 7, verse 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. 
the trees of immortality elect. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God, the what? The living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the sea and the earth, saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, nor what? Nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads, trees of immortality that serve the God of the living, the elect. beautiful and those trees are the seeds of the trees of righteousness the trees of Jacob that the Most High has breathed breath into the breath of life that gives us understanding that gives us eternal wisdom that gives us with the or endows us with the gift of prophecy of the GMS Spiritual Art 144, Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto the Most High who gave it. So there is no mystery hell under the earth somewhere. Our spirit goes back to the God of the living, the most ancient of days that created time, that created death and life. So we really pass over, or our bodies go through, go back to what? The elements. So our bodies return back to the dust of the earth. Zinc, potassium, iron, copper. See that? So we created from the dust, back to the dust we return the body, but the spirit is an eternal ball of pure fire, energy, and power. The essence of the Most High goes back to the Father, which made it. We just read it. Let's close out. Damn buses, my goodness. Always stop right next to me too. So when you read Revelation 7, hurt not the trees. It's a dark saying for his elect. It's not talking about no damn apple trees. It's talking about his elect. Go back to Luke. Luke 1. and 71 that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant the oath which he swear to our father Abraham that he would grant us that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear. So the elect are coming to the word of promise, remembering ourselves, repenting and making supplication, begging for mercy from the most high will deliver on his promise. What promises? Promises that he made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Deliverance, eternal life, to be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, to be raised up as rulers of the earth, kings and priests, 
lords, governors. He's going to restore the governors and the judges and counselors as in the days of old. The tabernacle of David is being raised up, resurrected to eternal life, being lifted up out of the gashes and the dust of the earth. It's time to raise up. Being called back into remembrance. Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. And Abad Babao. Barakatham. Shabbat Shalwa. We got next, Lord willing. Shalwa. Wait a minute, did the lesson go out okay? You say that a half an hour was stolen by Evil E. Well, I know they're shadow banning. I'm thinking that was just one guy that just came in late because they shadow banned the lesson. You said that they stole a half an hour of the lesson. Yeah, the devil is hurt and scared. That's why they keep laboratory creating all these sicknesses. All that stuff is made in a lab. If I go into detail, they'll take down the video. This man is the devil. So the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Kwame Yasharala, Shalom. 